Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a very fun colorful eye look. As you can tell it is springtime and I am loving all of the color on the runway and different makeup artists using just different colors and a lot of it is just very very simple just using one shade a nice wash all over the eyelid but I wanted to do something a little bit more my style and just add a lot of dimension and I came up with this look it's very very soft yet it has a hint of glam with a little bit of glimmer and the shimmer and I just think this is just a perfect look for the springtime plus everything I'm using today is a hundred percent affordable at the drugstore you can go to the drugstore today and go buy these products so I'm so excited to share this tutorial with you I hope y'all enjoy and let's go ahead and get started Alright, so I've already cleansed my skin. I'm ready to go. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to moisturize my skin with my L'Oreal Hydrogenous Facial Moisturizer. This is the normal to dry version. I really love wearing this under makeup because it's very thin, it's very lightweight, and it really helps to smooth out the skin as well as hydrate the skin. So this is a really great kind of primer moisturizer all in one. So to give the skin a little bit of glow, one of my favorite products that I've been using non-stop is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. I have the shade Light. This is such a beautiful product. You can wear underneath your foundation. You can mix it in with your foundation. You, wear, you can wear it on top of your foundation as a highlight. It is so gorgeous. It has a wonderful texture. It's very, very thin and lightweight, so it's not going to feel super heavy on the skin, and it just gives your skin that perfect lit from within appearance. And then for the center of my face, I'm going to use a different primer. Today I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Prep High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. This is a really great primer for any areas where you have some imperfections, you have pores, you have some texture. This is really just going to smooth and blur those, area out, those areas out so that when you apply your foundation on top, it's just going to be a nice smooth canvas. And for foundation today, I'm using one of my favorites. This is a really great lightweight foundation that has great coverage and it lasts a really long time and it just looks so gorgeous on the skin. Even if you have dry skin, like myself, this foundation looks beautiful. So today I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation. This is for normal to oily skin, but like I said, really anyone can wear this. It looks gorgeous. It's more of a satin matte finish. It's not a total matte finish where it looks dry on the skin and I swear when I wear this my skin looks so perfect I absolutely love this foundation and I'm just going to be applying it with my real techniques sponge so as you can see, this foundation definitely gives you a lot of coverage. It's very buildable, so if you do one layer and you find that you need a little bit more coverage, you can always go in with a second layer and really build it up to the coverage that you want. But as you can see, it is a matte foundation, but it still looks very healthy on the skin. It has a more natural finish in my opinion, and especially with that glotion underneath, it's not 100% matte. It really does look gorgeous on the skin. So for concealer today, I'm using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I haven't used this in a hot minute, so I thought I would pull this out today. And I'm first going to apply it to my under eye with a small paddle brush, and then I will go in and blend it out with my sponge. And just for a little bit of extra glow, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid. This is a liquid illuminator, and I have the shade Light. And I'm just going to apply this to any areas where I would normally highlight with a powder highlighter. I'm just going to be doing a little bit of cream highlighting today because I really want a very dewy, luminous look. So I'm going to use a cream highlighter, and then later on we will use a powder highlighter on top. But I'm just going to apply this first and then blend it out with the same sponge that I been using for all of my other cream products and I chose this highlighter in particular because it has a really 
cool kind of pinky undertone which i think is just going to look so gorgeous with our lavender purpley uh, eye so that's why i went for this highlighter instead of a more warm toned highlighter which is typically what i personally like but just for this look i wanted something a little bit more on the pinky side and then to set all of the cream products in place so that they don't move around they don't crease they're going to stay locked into place all day long i'm going to go in with my flower beauty miracle glow satin finishing powder this is a really gorgeous very finely milled lightweight powder that is going to set all of the cream products as well as give your skin a beautiful glow so for under the eye i'm going to go in with a smaller brush and then for the rest of my face i'm going to go in with a large powder brush because i don't want to apply too much powder i don't want to cake it on my face the purpose for this powder is just to set everything in place lock it in place and then as well give the skin a nice healthy glow and then before setting my eyelids i'm just going to go back in with my sponge and blend out any creasing because if you set your uh, eyelids I mean really anywhere and you have creases you're just going to set those creases in place so that kind of defeats the purpose of using a powder so I'm just going to s blend that out and then go in with my powder and set it all in place So now we're just going to bring some dimension back to the skin. We're looking very one-dimensional, very flat. So I'm going to take a little bit of bronzer. I'm using the number 7 Golden Sand Bronzer. I like this bronzer because it has a very neutral undertone. So it's really great for contouring and bronzing. So you can kind of do both in one. Um, I guess some people are calling it like brontouring or something like that. But that's basically what I'm going to be doing with this powder. I'm going to really give the cheeks and the rest of my face a lot of shape with this. But I'm also using it as a bronzer and just bringing some life back to my skin. So I'm also going to take a little bit of this bronzer on a smaller brush and I'm going to use this just to give my nose a little bit of definition. I'm not trying to change the shape of it or anything. I just want to give it some dimension so that it doesn't get lost in the center of my face and you can kind of see it a little bit better. Just give it some shape. Okay, so this is all that I'm going to do with my face right now. I'm going to switch over to my eyes because we are doing a colorful eye today. And I just want to make sure that the eyes and the face are cohesive and everything works really well together tonally. Um, especially with working with different shades of purples. You just want to make sure that your highlight and your blush kind of go in the same family of colors so that nothing is contrasting each other too much. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the eyes and then we'll come back to the face. So I am super excited about this eye look. I've been wanting to do this for a while, especially now that it's springtime, but I just wanted to make sure that I got the right shades and I could really create a solid idea in my head of what I wanted. I've been seeing so many beautiful lilac, lavender, purple um, eyeshadow looks lately and I've been so inspired so I wanted to kind of do my own rendition of that but I just wanted to make sure that I had the shades that I wanted and it kind of went together the way I wanted it to but now I think I've got all the eyeshadows that I need for this look so today I'm going to be using a bunch of single eyeshadows but you do not have to use the eyeshadows that I'm using today you can definitely use whatever is in your collection so I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using today but then I'm also going to give you some other drugstore alternatives that you can go to your local drugstore, grocery store, Target, Walmart, and pick up today. A colorful smoky eye is not an everyday look, so I wanted to give you affordable options so that you could use this look for today and maybe some other looks, but you're not really shelling out the cash for a really expensive palette. So for today, I'm going to be using the Milani Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadow in the shade Bella Violet. This is a shimmery violet shade. I'm also going to be using a couple of Coastal Scents shades. So another one I'm going to be using is in the shade Lavender. 
I'm also going to be using the shade Amethyst and then the shade Light Plum. And I just love how all of these eyeshadows work together. I've been swatching them on my hands, just kind of playing with them, looking at the undertones of each shadow and just making sure that they all kind of go together. Now I'm not saying this look has to be perfect and you don't have to find the perfect eyeshadows that all go together perfectly. But just for me, for the look that I'm really wanting, I just wanted to make sure that I got the right undertones that I was looking for. There are so many different undertones to purples. Um, you can go more lavender, which has a more of a blue undertone or you can go more on the lilac spe spectrum which has more of a pink undertone so just kind of finding what suits you and what suits your style um, that kind of might help you with picking out your purple eyeshadows I also found this ColourPop super shock shadow in the shade sailor which I thought would be kind of a fun lid topper I don't know if I'm actually going to be using this shade but it has a lot of really pretty purple glitter in it so I thought that that might be a nice finishing touch I'm not really sure if I'm going to be using that, but these are just the shadows that I have in front of me and that I'm going to be using for today. Now, some other drugstore alternatives. If you do not own these specific eyeshadows, I have some alternatives for you. The first is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. This is the Brights version. This is a really great, just perfect, colorful palette all in one. You have purples, pinks, oranges, greens, yellows. You got some blue in there. So if you just want a really affordable, colorful palette for any kind of colorful look, this is a really, really great palette. Now, if you are looking for a palette just solely for purple eyeshadows, the next one is for you. This is the Wet n Wild Color Eyeshadow or Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Petal Pusher. This has been a long time favorite of mine. There are some really great textures in this palette, and you can do a very, very subtle, soft purple eye with this eyeshadow palette, or you can do something really deep and smoky. So there's a lot of different options in this palette, and it's so affordable. So I absolutely love this one and then the last palette that I want to show y'all is the NYX Avant Pop eyeshadow palette in the shade Nouveau Chic and I chose this one because it has two really nice pops of purple in the eyeshadow palette but it also has a bunch of really great neutrals so if you're a neutrals kind of girl you have this perfect palette where you have a little pop of purple that you can use on the rare occasion that you want to do a purple eye and then you have a little bit of green and a little bit of blue but a lot of this eyeshadow palette is really neutral so you're not having to spend money just solely on a colorful eyeshadow palette you're kind of getting the full spectrum of color and neutrals so I hope that those recommendations helped you you don't have to necessarily use everything that I'm recommending these are just some eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection that I swear by I love them the quality is great and I think that for the price you're really getting a lot of bang for your buck so I'm going to go ahead and start my eyeshadow look and before I do that actually I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I always like to fill in my brows and really frame the face before I go in with my eyeshadows. Just I, I think it just helps me kind of figure out the shape of my shadows and I don't know I it helps me to have my brows on first. So I'm first going to go in with my Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer Gel. This is my absolute favorite favorite brow product so I'm just gonna run a light layer of this through my brows and then I'm going to fill in my brows with the elf instant lift brow pencil another one of my favorites And then I'm just going to go back in with my brow gel and set everything in place. Seriously guys, I swear by this eyebrow gel, there's nothing like it. I've been trying so many different eyebrow gels lately and this is just the best. I, I swear, if you're looking for a good affordable brow gel, you've got to try this out. It's so good at just creating that really fluffy, feathery brow look. I absolutely love this. 
Alright, so for the first eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with the Milani eyeshadow in the shade Bella Violet. When I saw this in my drawer, I was like, I've got to use this. This is exactly the kind of color that I was picturing for this look. So I'm going to take it on a large, fluffy brush like this. And then I'm just going to fluff this all through my crease towards my brow bone. This does not have to be precise. This is just going to give our eyes a nice wash of color, kind of set the tone for the look, and help with blending any other eyeshadows that we apply later on. And this is such a light shade that you really can't mess this up. So as you can see, that just gave the eyes just a really subtle wash of color. And honestly, you could take this eyeshadow all over your entire eyelid, blend it up through the crease, run it along your lower lash line, put some mascara on, and call it a day. That would be a gorgeous purple eye look. Um, but we're not going to stop there. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit more depth and definition to the eye look. So for the next shade, I'm going to go in with Lavender by Coastal Scents. This is the same kind of blue undertone lavender shade as the first one that we used, but this is slightly deeper. So I'm going to concentrate this right in my crease, just right below the eyeshadow that we just applied. I'm not going to take it all the way up towards my brow. I'm going to keep it more focused right in the crease. And then I'm going to go back in with my original blending brush and just blend the two together. Alright, so I'm now going to go back in with the Milani eyeshadow on a smaller pencil brush. And I'm going to run that on my lower lash line. Alright, so I'm now going to go in with the shade Amethyst. This one has a more pinky undertone, but I just thought it looks so beautiful with these shadows and it's a little bit deeper. So I'm going to concentrate this right on the very outer corner of my eye and just give my eyes a little bit more depth. Alright, so the amethyst shade was not as dark as I wanted, but it's really nice. It gave the eyes kind of more of that uh, lilac pink uh, kind of effect, so it actually looks really pretty paired with the other colors. And then lastly, whoa, if I don't break it. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the shade Light Plum, which is a really, really icy lavender shade. And I'm just going to apply this with my finger. And I'm just concentrating the shade right on that inner third of my eye. And I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and just blend everything together. So this is quite a shimmery look, but I actually really like it. I like the dimension. I like how when you turn your head and you look, look in certain ways and um, it kind of catches the light in certain areas, it looks different. It's just very, very multidimensional, which I personally like. Um, this may not be everyone's cup of tea just to have a ton of shimmery eyeshadow on the eyes, but this is actually really, really pretty and I like it. And I'm actually going to add a little bit more shine. So I am going to use that ColourPop shadow in the shade Sailor and I'm just going to take it on my finger and we're just going to very lightly just press this right on the center of my lid. Alright, so I'm happy with the eyes. I like the way they look. I'm going to go ahead and put some, or curl my lashes, apply some mascara, and then we'll come back, finish off the face, and do any finishing touches. So before we move on to our face, while I still have you zoomed in, I'm going to do a little bit of eyeliner. I'm going to go in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Lavender. This is just a really, really light, kind of shimmery, purpley pink shade so so pretty if you wanted something a little bit deeper and more dramatic you could go in with the jumbo eye pencil in the shade purple velvet which is just a true kind of royal purple All 
Alright, so to finish off the look, I'm going to go in with a little bit of, a little bit more of my number 7 bronzer. I feel like I just need a little bit more definition. And then for highlight, this is the perfect highlighter for this look. This is Maybelline's Master Chrome Highlight in the shade Molten Rose Gold. This is less of a rose gold, more of a pinky kind of shade. It's not that true, really warm, rose, rosy shade. It's more of a pinky shade, which is why this is so perfect for this look. So I'm going to take this on a large uh, powder brush and just dust this across the high points of my face. Look at that highlight. It's a little much. It's a little much. I'm going to go over it with my powder brush. Just kind of tone it down a bit. Alright, and we need some blush because we're looking... We need a little bit of color to the face. Our eyes are super colorful and we don't have any color on our skin. So it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. But for blush today, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. blush in the shade Berry Mary. And this is definitely more of kind of a berry toned blush. So I think it's just going to go perfect with all the different tones that we have going on on our eyes. Now, the lip is probably going to be the hardest part, just kind of finding that perfect lip color for this look. I'm definitely going for a nude lip, but I can't just go with any nude because sometimes if you go with a brownie nude, it's just not going to work with um, more of a cool toned eye. So I have a couple over here that I'm thinking about trying. Like, that looks too warm. That looks way too shimmery. Alright, I'm not sure what lip I want to do, but I'm first going to just go ahead and line my lips with Milani's All Natural Lip Liner. This is just a really great liner for any lip color that you use. It's kind of my lip color, just a little bit more intensified. So I'm just going to line my lips and then we'll go from there. Alright, so I'm going to try Wet n Wild's Breeze. This is actually a one of my favorite lipsticks ever. This was probably one of the first lipsticks I ever owned. Um, but this is a really pretty, like, kind of... The only thing I'm worried about, it's very shimmery. So I don't know if it's going to be too much, but I'll just try it. Alright, so I don't like that. I'm going to try Milani's Matte Innocence. Okay, I think I'm going to stick with this, otherwise I could be here all day long. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my Smith's uh, Rose, Rose, Minted Rose Lip Balm. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of that on top. Just to give it some shine. Oh, and before I forget, I'm going to go back in with this Maybelline highlighter. I'm going to go back in with this Maybelline highlighter and I'm going to apply this to the inner corners of my eyes. Then I'm also going to apply a tiny bit to my brow bone. Alright, so that completes this makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. I am so excited for the springtime. I'm so excited for all the different colors and I knew I wanted to do something more purple. This is actually one of my favorite colors when I'm doing a colorful eyeshadow look. Purple is one of my favorite colors to do. I think it's so flattering on any eye color, any skin tone. It really is just universally flattering on anyone. So like I said, you don't have to use the same products I use today. You can definitely use what you have in your own personal collection or you can take some of my recommendations from the drugstore. Those are some really great products that I 100% stand by and I think that they have they are amazing quality. So thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you like these spring makeup tutorials. And please subscribe to my channel so you can see more makeup videos like this, more spring videos like this. And also I do a lot of really minimal kind of everyday makeup looks as well if that's more your style. So I hope y'all are having a great day and I hope you have a great week and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.